In this lecture, I will show you how you can bring in data directly from SQLite into a Python Pandas data frame. First, we need to import a few libraries. Import Pandas. And to connect to SQLite, we need to import another library. It's called SQLite 3. Good. Now for SQLite 3 to work, we need to define a connection. Let me write that as connection now. Connection is a variable. I'm calling it connection. I'm keeping it simple and clear in plain English. You can abbreviate that the way you want. C, N, C, X, C, whatever works for you. Connection equals SQLite 3 dot connect. And you give the path of the file. Now, let me show you in Windows Explorer the path of the file. Here, here is the path. And here is the file I want to have. Chinook. SQLite dot SQLite. Okay, now there is something I want to tell you about the path. Let me minimize this first. I'm going to paste the full path and then tell you I don't want you to go this route. Why? Because it will work sometimes, not always. Why will it only work sometimes? Because it depends on the operating system. The path, the way it's written now, works fine for Windows. But does it work for Mac and Linux? Mac, Linux, Windows use slashes or backslashes in paths. So the way one writes the path is not read properly by the other one. Hence the need for a path that is cross-platform. How can I then write the path in such a way that even if I run it from Windows, Mac or Linux, regardless of which operating system, it will always work. In that case, I need to use to import operating system or even better, let me import from, sorry, from operating system library, import path. That's all I need, the path. And then let me comment this one just to give it as a, keep it as a reference for us to use and write it the way it should be in best practice. SQLite3.connect. And in here, I'm going to use path. path the join and you fill it the elements of the absolute path you don't use the absolute path so it's going to be e and then you separate them with a comma this way i'm just going to copy paste quickly this stuff in here databases so you put them as strings separated by commas sqlite Uh, let me copy the whole thing. And the file as well comes in as a string at the end. That's it. Good. Now we have it according to best practices. We have the connection defined, sql3.connect SQL to where is the file, path.join, and this is how it will work in every single operating system. Let me see, we have closed the brackets properly. Nice, let's move to the next one. Now that the connection is established, we would like to move to the next stage, which is the, diff, the data frame definition and with SQ, SQL statements. Right, let's define the data frame. I'm just calling it DF. Data frame equals pandas. Dot, and again, for pandas, you can abbreviate it the way you want by saying import pandas as pd. It generally tends to be used as pd, import numpy as np. You abbreviate it the way you want, just for the clarity of the explanation demonstration here, I keep it in plain English, right? For you, I keep it in plain English now. So read, we say pandas.read underscore SQL. So just like you would import a CSV file, you say pandas.read underscore CSV. For an Excel, underscore Excel. For an SQL, it's underscore SQL. Okay, and here we have always two parameters, your SQL statement and your connection. Your SQL statement and the connection. I have, now whatever you have named it here, it needs to come back here. So if you said CN, it needs to be CN here. Okay, now the SQL statement, it is possible to define the SQL statement as a variable and call it something like SQL query and then put in 
the string for the SQL statement, I prefer to put the SQL statement straight in here. We're going to keep it simple in this case, just bring in the whole invoice table that we've looked at. Let me bring it back again. Where is that? This one, it says invoice. That's the table name, right? Invoice. I want to bring in the whole thing. Let's go back to the code and bring in this table. Select star. We're writing now SQL statement. So inside of Python code. Select star from and it's called invoice, right? Now, what have we done? What we're doing now is that number one, yes, we're writing Python code, but the moment we reach the door of the SQL arena, we say we need to switch language. We're talking to an SQL database. We need to talk to that database in its native language. We need to say select star from, so we switch into SQL. Hence the need every time when we are creating a data frame with pandas to put in the SQL statement. Right, now that we're done with this, we say, well, are we done? Is this all what we need? If that's all what we need from the table, fine. We need to close our connection. Let's keep things tidy and close the connection. So we use connection dot close. Whatever variable you've called it, this is what it needs to come back here. If it was cncx, it comes in as cncx. Now it's just connection dot close. Right, and let's say I would like to display the whole data frame. Yeah, let's do that. Let's display the whole data frame. I'll say display. Okay, so df and show me and give me df data frame. Actually, in uh, Jupyter Notebook, it's going to give me the first part and the last part if it's a large data frame. Let's see. Do we have everything ready? Yes, we have everything ready. I'm going to run it. All right, here it is. We've managed to bring in the full invoice table. Okay, 412 rows and nine columns. Let's have a look at that. Okay, this is our table, 412 rows.